saw one of the probation officers from that day. I said, hey, Brown Guard. This is a Department of Business and Professional Regulation. Yeah, beer and wine license. Yeah. And we had a bunch of issues. Can we help you? Yeah, I'm going upstairs to do a couple of records requests. Do you need to show some ID? No, I'm not showing any ID. You have to sign in and I'm show not, some ID. I'm not signing in and I'm not you showing. Can't go up, then then you better call a supervisor. You better call a supervisor. Well, is what you better do. Upstairs, You're not telling you me what I can go do. Upstairs? Go call a supervisor. I don't have to give ID. No, call a supervisor. No, I don't. No, no you're, I'm, you're not getting my ID. You're not getting my name under. Do you know the records law? Do you know the records law? I'm not going to argue with you. That's because you don't know the laws, and I do. That's the point. Call your supervisor then. I'm not going to argue with you. Then you better just call the PD right now. That, that's what you better do right now then. If you don't want to call your superior and, and clarify what's going on here, call the building manager that's in charge of this building and have them clarify what's going on here. It, it, you're going to have some other issues here. That's not how this works. You will. Watch. Watch. You will. Yeah. No. No. Rules are not rules. Rules are not laws. You go upstairs and we'll call the cops. How about you just call your supervisor instead of being an arrogant? Huh? What? Why don't you call your supervisor? Will you call your supervisor and clear this up before it gets really bad? I mean, if you don't want to, it's okay. Go straight to the gunman. Yeah, it will. I know you are. And, and, and when somebody asks for a supervisor to clarify something, you should clarify it, right? Oh, that worked out. Ho! 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 Now, how about the apology that comes along with that? You don't need to apologize, huh? No. Let's zoom in on the liars. And, and as you see, this is our job. We okay. know the laws. We know the rules. Okay. We know what's supposed to happen. Have a nice day, sir. That's right. You got an education already, didn't you? No. Didn't think you were going to, though, right? Didn't think you were going to. No. Yep. Nice you thought you knew more than I did. So what nice yep. Did you get what I will, too. Have a nice day. I'm going up to the probation office. Okay. I'm going up to the Department of Education. Have a nice day. I'm going to the Department of Business and Regulation. So you know where I'm going. I'll tell you where I'm going. That I will do. Have a nice day. Are you still going to call the cops? Have a nice day. Or who did you call, actually? Who was that that you talked to, actually? What's your name? Who, who did you talk to, actually? Because I want to be able to have that documentation that clarifies who you spoke to. Because I don't know now at this point the way that you acted in the beginning, if you're just saying that yeah, to try and, to try and set me up. Into, into trying to get me arrested or something so like that. Name, so who was I'm that that you called? Officer. What's your name? Who was that that you out. called? What's your name? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Your names have a nice day. You want to sign in? Don't worry about it. What does that have to do with anything? What's your name? I don't know your name. Sir, ma'am, I'm a private citizen. I correct. I'm a private citizen. I you don't need my name. Have a nice day. No, you're have working in a government capacity. You're not a private citizen. You're not a private citizen. I'm a supervisor down here. Because you're ignorant as hell. Let's get a supervisor down here, please. I'm requesting your supervisor. I'll wait. Got all day. Supervisor, please. Supervisor, please. What's your name? What is it? Kent Security? Here, before supervisor. I go upside, upstairs, because they'll be upstairs for a while. So. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, ma'am? Guess not. All of a sudden, she has a hearing impairment. Hello? What's your name? Kent. What is her name? What's your name? Okay. Kent Security. Security. Is it well, services? Yeah, call their, call their company. I am right now. Security. Fucking arrogant yeah. as fuck. Yeah, she probably is still going to call the cops. Let her call. Because we don't trust you. Well, we asked you a simple question who you spoke to so we could verify the information that you're being given is correct. You give your name. And you don't even want to do that. You can't even give your name. We don't know who you are. So is your main office out of Miami Beach in Flor in Miami? Supervisor coming Because I'm calling, so. Supervisor coming down? You made a fool out of yourself. You made a fool out of yourself. All right, I'll just call and find out since we you you don't want to. You're going to get one, you're going to eat cookies like an imbecile. There you go, imbecile. 
Zoom in on your face. There you go. Chew away. Chew your little feelings. That's the point. We're teaching her how to do her job she correctly. She lied about the law. I need the bathroom. You need to sign Who are in. You? you need to sign in. Who are you? That's I'm what they said. You. you need to sign in. Who are you? It doesn't matter. That's the you same concept. The no, you need to sign in. That's the same concept. You need to sign in. Why do we have to, dummy? Get the fuck out of here. You wear that diaper in the car alone, don't you? <laughs> Look at this guy's pants. Tell the socks to invite his pants down for the party. <laughs> Like, I'm just here. Do you know her name? Oh, oh I'm sorry then. Are you the facility manager? Oh. Is there a facility manager here? I'm trying to find a guy too. Yeah. Are you? Well, let's go. We'll go together. Let's see. Where are they? Up on 106, right? We're going to find out who you are. I think, let, here, let me go get the number. I'll go with you. You yeah, want to stay right with him? A lot of people are right here. You have the door in there. Rats. Yeah. What's going on? 106. Where's Brumgarden? So a probation officer, Dr. Bromgardner. I don't know what floor he's on. Is this a facility entrance? Well, back there in the right hand corner is the facility manager's office. I knocked on the door. Hey, is, is the facility manager here by any chance? Manager. The building manager? Are they in there? Huh? Can you see if they're. Their office is over here? 106. Thank you. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, you guys, just relax. I'm just. Okay, there's oh, nobody John. in there. This is old man. John is a good boy. What are they upset about? Oh, you're harassing them. The one that threatened to call the police. Right. These people weren't in this room to begin with to witness her nasty ass now. Oh, they didn't what? witness her stupidity? Where's the probation oh, office? I don't know. Oh, you're looking. The only ones is an anger badge. Um, it is. Is it still Pride Month, Diana? Yes. Because I'm not proud of you. Where? It? Eighth floor. It looks like. It looks it's not like. This right here. Oh, maybe it is the fourth floor. No, because that one's a DOC on the fourth floor. That one's different. There's another probation? Yeah, well, there should be. There's two of them it's showing. Where? Oh, the, the upper, the, the eighth floor one, I think, is the, uh, like, the juvenile one. I think, if I remember Does correctly. Any kind of reference on the yes, I'm just visiting Tampa. 
438. Good. 